On 30 June 1954, famous French economist, Maurice Allais conducted an experiment to study the oscillation of a Foucault pendulum during the solar eclipse. Simply put, he set up a pendulum and let it swing while he observed its rate of oscillation. Allais found that the rate of precession of the pendulum changed during the solar eclipse as also studied and speculated by Léon Foucault in the 1850s. The concept behind the oscillation of a pendulum is that, whenever a solid object is attached to a rod by a string, on being released the solid swings back and forth at a steady rate. After a gradual passing of time however, the orientation or the direction of the pendulum shifts. When put in simple terms, it was noted that the direction in which it swings was noted to have a change. Foucault had first noted this in the 1850s, followed by a lay in 1954. That a slight change in the movement of the pendulum is noticed due to the rotation of the Earth. As per Foucault, the shift in the movement was due the rotation of the Earth. As we all know the Earth rotates once every 24 hours. Hence, all objects on Earth are also subjected to moving in a circle along with it once a day. At the equator, a circle round the entire circumference of the Earth would be covered in 24 hours. But, a shorter distance will be covered during these 24 hours, when you shift towards the poles. This indicates that even though everything on Earth takes 24 hours to cover a rotation or circle, objects along or at the equator will move faster than objects along or closer to the poles. And hence, as the pendulum swings, it moves close to the equator and then oscillates away from it. Thus, the movement of the Earth during rotation affects the direction of the pendulum gradually with each swing. This effect is known as precession and is said to be small, but builds up over time. According to conventional physics, the rate of precession should be the same irrespective of solar eclipse or any other natural phenomenon due to the fact that precession occurs due to the Earth's rotation. This is where the Allais effect comes into play, where Allais says that the rate of precession supposedly changes or shifts during the solar eclipse, and hence came to be known as the Allais effect. But since Allais was an economist his study was surrounded by a lot of controversies. Many physicists objected that the influence of temperature, humidity and pressure due to the eclipse could also be a contributor towards the change in precession instead of the solar eclipse itself. Solar eclipse is a rare phenomenon and to prove the study during the eclipse was difficult. Despite these challenges, a few similar experiments were conducted to determine the authenticity behind the effect, but no sure results have been obtained. Allais had repeated the experiment again in 1959 and claimed to have received the same results. Various other experiments conducted in 1965, 1990 and even as recent as 2010 found no such effect. Despite this, many experimenters have claimed to have seen the effect. Whatever the truth may be, the Allais effect stirred up a lot of controversy in the world of physics, but it is yet to be understood whether the effect was purely an experimental error, or an actual effect still unknown to the world. This was all about Allais effect. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.